you know, the naysayers saying electric cars won't work in South Africa for whatever reason. Yes, we've got load shedding, which is quite a big challenge. But infrastructure is getting there slowly but surely. But I think the biggest contentious topic is the pricing of electric cars. But GWM seems to have a plan around that challenge. And that plan is right here. This is the GWM Aura, which will be South Africa's cheapest EV when it finally launches. We're looking at a starting price of 715,000 Rand, which is slightly cheaper than the current Mini E. So the styling, I know it does look familiar, right? With this retro look. And there's a reason for that. So this vehicle was designed by former Porsche designer, Emmanuel Detta. Um, and yes, he designed the iconic 911, the later generations, and of course the Panamera. So I think the styling is quite, um, how shall I put it, funky, uh, very retro inspired, which, which really looks cool. I, I, I really like it. Um, there are these red accents, which denotes the GT with this false uh, sort of carbon fiber finish. So this here, this exclamation mark thing here is, this will be the Aura badge. Um, so there will be more sort of EVs under the Aura sort of umbrella coming through. Um, yes, and the Aura is the first car. Um, there will also be an EV coupe, which is a four door sort of uh, four door coupe type thing, which resembles Panamera from, from some angles. So yeah, once again, Emmanuel Detta's pen just coming through there. So coming around the car here, we've got this, once again, this carbon fiber look design. Of course, this being the GT, the 18 inch alloy wheels have the red accents and we've got also the, the red calipers, brake calipers. And then over here is our charging port, which has both AC and DC charging. Um, and that's for the 63 kilowatt hour battery, which this vehicle has. In case you were wondering in terms of numbers, it's 126 kilowatts and about 250 Newton meters, which is very, very comparable to the Mini E. And then coming around the vehicle, we've got this sort of tapering um, glass house, which looks very, very cool. Um, and then we've got this GT spoiler um, with this red accent, which I think looks really, 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 really lovely. Coming around the back, I think the rear is nicely rounded, actually probably, arguably, the best sort of angle of this car. Once again, you've got this carbon fiber finished diffuser with some red GT accents. Um, and then obviously you've got the F1 style fog lamp. But I think overall, it really, really is an impressive design. So with most EVs, usually what we have here is called the frunk, which is additional boot space for all your charging cables and that sort of thing. But not in the Aura. So, I mean, technically this is the heart and the engine of the Aura. So we've got uh, the battery pack here, uh, which is a 63 kilowatt uh, battery pack. Good enough for the 126 kilowatts and 250 Newton meters. And welcome to the interior of the Aura. Of course, this being the top of the line GT spec, um, it's got this two-tone sort of finish to it and I quite like it. It's, um, it's very nicely done. There's this red stitching that goes all the way across and the fit and finish is actually quite impressive um, for a Chinese vehicle as they classify it, but obviously that's now out the window. Um, but there's quite a lot of sort of inspiration that has come here. Everything is very minimalistic. I mean, you've got this infotainment screen ahead of you for the instrument cluster itself and obviously the infotainment for all your radio, USBs and all your Bluetooth connection. But down here, you have all your toggle switches, which I must say are very, very mini, mini inspired, um, which is quite cool. Um, and then you've got wireless charging um, and lots of storage areas here. Um, you've got two cup holders, uh, USB charging ports, um, but overall, I think a very, very nice place to be. Um, they've done very well in terms of packaging here. Yeah? There's quite a lot of space. Uh, the panoramic sunroof as well, just 
makes the interior that much area. Um, lots of space in the rear, even for very tall um, individuals. But yeah, overall, just a nice, nicely put together and packaged vehicle. I think the first thing that really captures you with an EV is just the silence. Um, yes, I can hear a bit of a way coming through the firewall here. But I mean, that's typical of an EV. But overall, it's very, very quiet, very quiet interior, very well insulated. On a full charge, you could probably, well, GWM does claim that you can go 400 kilometers, but uh, we've been struggling to get 350, um, but which is fine. I mean, this is a city car after all, but the vehicle does lend your driving. So the more economical you drive, obviously, the more um, sort of range you get. So 350 kilometers might not sound like much, but in actual fact, if you driving 50 kilometers on average a day, it simply means you could technically drive a whole week on a single charge, a full charge, which is more than enough, more than sufficient. Um, EVs really have come a long way. Um, I remember the days when the first sort of EVs landed in South Africa, you were lucky to get 250 kilometers out of that and even then that didn't sound particularly terrible but uh, batteries are getting better the technology is getting better the car is very smooth very light um, controls are light i really think this vehicle will do well um, if if gw elm can hold that sort of pricing at that level um, it would be good i think the GT might be a little bit of a push um, to get people to, to buy because, I mean, it, it is close to a million rand and by then you're knocking on the doors of some very, very, very good uh, EVs. Of course, there'll be other more players coming into the space, but as it stands, it seems like the Chinese manufacturers are definitely, excuse the pun, leading the charge. EVs are the future. They are definitely coming. In fact, they are here but they just need to be a little bit more affordable for the men on the street. So yeah, kudos to GWM for bringing the Aura to South Africa at that price. Um, I think it's a brilliant product. Um, we'll just have to see how it, uh, how it fares on the sales charts. We'll see you on the next one. So one more thing now with uh, this Aura. I need to show you how you use a public charger. So this, what we have here is a, uh, a public DC charger, so it's essentially a fast charger. So I'll show you, it's very, very easy, and the sequence is very easy. So all you do, you have this twin gun nozzle that you just put in here, right? And then if you come with me, to the screen, it's just a case of using this great cars charger. Okay, it'll tell you. It's basically preparing to charge now. It's at 45%. And then what it'll do, it'll tell you once everything is charging. So this car obviously has a 60, sorry, an 80 kilowatt um, charging facility. These machines are probably about 60 kilowatts, this one. Um, obviously we can get up to 150. Uh, I think our highest one is about 200 kilowatts which is at the mall of africa hopefully we'll try that one day but yeah it's easy as that it's charging and um yeah once it's done we'll just end the charge using the credit cards card again and that's it